All right, Keith, thanks a lot. The Columbus Municipal School District is putting new policies in place that govern teacher student interaction. During Monday night's board meeting, trustees reviewed several old policies and adopted some new ones. WCBI's Victoria Bailey spent the day learning about those policies. She joins us in the studio with more on what it all means. Victoria? That's right, Andrea. Employee conduct, staff student non fraternization, and social networking websites. Just three of the many new policies the board voted to put in place. And I learned today the need for policies like these is growing every day. The Columbus School Board is working to add an extra layer of safety to its students. So as a district, we have to go back and revisit our policy to see where we're deficient and how we need to strengthen them. For example, the staff student non-fraternization policy states that teachers and students shall not associate in the presence of tobacco or alcohol use. Us and our due process of uh, trying to find out what policies we need to address and of course working with MSBA to identify which policies we may need to create along with the ones that we have on the books that are now no longer valid because of the ever-changing landscape. Spears says the policies are designed to help the students and teachers maintain a healthy learning environment. Monday night, the board voted unanimously to implement the new policies. Assistant principal for Joe Cook Elementary School and parent Alfred Brandon says he's happy the school is taking steps to prevent an incident from happening. It's particularly confident to know that when you send your child to school that they're in safe hands and there are measures in places to prevent those outside forces, so to speak, uh, from coming into a school or even for our staff to be in an inappropriate relationship for us with students. So the idea that those policies are in place uh, is comforting to me as a parent. With every new day, companies, businesses, and organizations rely more heavily on social media. But Brandon says it can have its cons for any school system. From time to time, we have issues arise from the school that have stemmed from social media. And so uh, our intent here is to kind of limit those interactions of students uh, versus student problems and, they, and that manifests itself in the school. Our faculty and staff are always reminded to be professional in all that they do and to avoid the, even the, in, the appearance of impropriety. Uh, so to that point, uh, our faculty and staff are encouraged to maintain a professional relationship with anyone on social media. It's more along the lines of uh, trying to uh, create this separate um, uh, separate space to where people understand, you know, their responsibilities and their relationship. It's not to keep people apart as much as it is about just knowing that there are uh, 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 protocols in place that prohibit, um, you know, any type of additional engagement with those students. The new policies go into effect immediately, and for a full look at the policies, visit WCBI.com. Andrea? All right, Victoria, in our studio.